My name is Lincoln. I'm with uh, Technicians for Sustainability, and we're mounting uh, the rain head right now. Um, what we have is we have a gutter system uh, installed by the homeowner, and before we can get the water into the tank, we're going to need to transport it. The first stage of that is putting in a rain head. Now this is just a box with a screen on the front and will be mounted right underneath the downspout. So we'll place it here and then from here the water will be piped out into the, um, into the tank. The important things for mounting is that we make sure that um, the rain head is flush with the wall. Um, if, it, if it's sloped too much or too little, uh, we'll either gain too much debris or uh, lose too much water. Um, the purpose of this rain head is so the, the design of it is such that um, it's self cleaning. So the rain will fall down onto here. The debris coming out of the gutter will all land on the top, and then the next wind will carry it away once it dries out. Um, it allows for, for us to put these where they're a little bit harder to reach, and so that the homeowner doesn't have to uh, do it themselves. The way that we're mounting it this is a, a stucco wall. And so we have these plastic uh, wall anchors, and then we're going to be putting a s screw into that. And um, depending on the surface, uh, sometimes you'll need to use a hammer drill. And this drill has a, a hammer setting to go through block uh, or concrete, and just to uh, make sure that you can get it in. The only things to watch on this are whether it's uh, flush on the wall, and then you want your screen to be more or less level. And the reason for that is just to maintain as much water um, going into the rain head as possible. Putting the, uh, the rain head and putting the screws into those anchors, I like to do the last little bit by hand to make sure that the anchors don't get sucked out. Um, sometimes on a hollow wall, there's not enough pressure to, to keep them in. And so you have to, if you're doing it with the drill, they'll just come out because it happens too quickly. So because this is a wet system, um, we're going to be taking the water from the rain head through a pipe and down into the ground. Uh, with the dry system, we'd be coming right out of the rain head into the tank, almost directly. Um, and now when we're doing slope, so we have a long run of pipe here, and this is a three inch diameter pipe, and with three inch diameter pipe you want a one quarter inch per foot slope. So over four feet you'd have one inch of drop. And the reason for that is that if you uh, if you have less slope than that, any solids, any leaf, debris, um, plant matter that gets through might not get carried through the pipe and will end up becoming blockage. If you have more slope than that, um, too much more slope than that, the water will rush by too quickly and again leave the solids behind. So um, with a three inch pipe we do a quarter inch per foot. Uh, with a four inch pipe we, we can jump it up to an eighth inch per foot per foot slope, uh, meaning that we'll only have an inch over eight feet instead of o over four foot. And um, that comes into fac to factor when you're trying to account for long distances like this one. Um, if we had started higher, uh, we would have to try to avoid that the window and might have too much slope and might leave debris back um, up here on the uh, upper end of the pipe. And so that's important to remember.